All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be about how to import Q, Q, uh, I'm sorry, how to import KML or KMZ files into QGIS. Uh, so basically, for those of you who don't know, KML and Q, uh, Q, Q, I'm sorry again, Q, KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language File, and KMZ stands for Keyhole Market Markup Zipped. Uh, basically, you can just sort of import various polygons and multipoints, vector data into, um, into GIS from Google Earth. Um, without further ado, let's get started. So first we're going to create a polygon. We can call this KML example. And we're going to scroll over to our Google, Google Earth layer. And we're just going to click some random points, just create a random polygon. Like so. And we're going to click OK. We're going to click Save As, Save Place As. We're going to go down to KML example. We already have KML example here. We can just rename it because we're going to use a different polygon. So we're going to save. Now it's just save as KML. So what we're going to do is we go back to QGIS. Uh, we have OpenStreetMaps open. If you don't know how to open it, just go. Well, you're going to have to get the plugin. But if you do have the plugin, again, you can just go to Web, Quick Map Services, OSM, OSM Standard, and just create a duplicated layer. But we're just, because we need one, we're going to remove this one layer. And after that, we're going to go to layer. We're going to import our, um, our vector layer from, Q, uh, from Google Earth. So we're going to add layer, add vector layer. And we're going to click, sorry. We're going to click this sort of dotted box right here. And I have to get to where we saved our document. And we have KMZ, just to edit it. That's our um, open location. So we're going to add. Let's click on it, add layers. And we can see we have our uh, outline of our shape file from, from Google Earth that's in our, in our KML. We can just manipulate this in any other way. Like for example, we can just uh, create, um, let's see, we, we, can, we can adjust the symbology and the properties just like any other kind of shape file or layer that we have in QGIS. For example, I'll show you, go to properties, we are at symbology. Uh, it's defaulted to embedded symbols, but it's not really helpful right now. So we're going to go to something like single symbol. Choose something like green. We can click apply. Basically, again, it just colors the whole um, thing green. Now, I've used symbology in many videos before. We're just going to go quickly over it. Categorized. Again, if we have multiple kind of polygons, then we've got to categorize them. Categorize it by some variable. Graduated similar, again, but it's just sort of like using a gradient, inverted polygons. Uh, that's something that's unique to, or uh, looks unique to um, import KML file, so we can click that. And um, yeah, well, so that's how we important right now. 2.5D, again, it's just some more options. And of course, we can go to, for example, 3D view, but we have nothing here. Uh, it's not a 3D uh, view. Fields again. We have well. Uh, this is just automatically imported from a KMZ file, so we can look at attributes form. We have yeah. So we have interesting things here. For example, under fields, we have name, description, timestamp, begin, end, altitude mode, test layer, extrude, visibility, draw, or icon. So if we look at the attribute table. Uh, we see I have nothing there, so again, it didn't come with the attribute table. But if we wanted, we could just add some attribute tables. Like for example, if we uh, can sort of go back here, we can uh, click Edit, toggle Multi Edit, Add Feature if we wanted to. Let's go back to Properties. Uh, yeah, so we have our fields. That are, again, name, description, timestamp. Go back to Symbology. Again, we can just. No, oh, it was already here. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically the gist, basically the gist of using uh, KMZ files, importing KMZ files, KMZ or KML files from Google Earth into QGIS and sort of manipulating them in some way. I uh, hope you guys found this video quite useful and enjoyable, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Take care.